Kembai Vaidyanatha Bhagavatar aka Vaidyanatha Iyer the 1st of September 1896 to the 16th of October 1974 was a Carnatic music singer from Palakkad state of Kerala India Known by his village name Kembai, or simply as Bhagavatar, he was born to Anantha Bhagavatar and Parvati Amal in 1896, into a Tamil Brahmin family at Katiyi I, II near Palakkad on Janmashtami day. Kembai was noted for his powerful voice and majestic style of singing. His first public performance was in 1904, when he was nine. A recipient of several titles and honors including the Madras Music Academy's Sangeetha Kalanidhi in 1951, he was known for his encouragement of upcoming musicians and ability to spot new talent. He was responsible for popularizing compositions like Rikshamam Saranagatam and Pavana Guru, among others. The music critic Eolus described him as the musician who has meant the most to Carnatic music in the first fifty years of the 20th century. His prominent disciples include Kembai Narayana Bhagavathar, Mangu Thampuran, Guruvayar Panamal, T. V. Gopalakrishnan, V. V. Sebramaniam, P. Leela, Jayan and Vijayan, K. J. Yasudas and Babu Paramaswaran, among others. He also mentored a lot of young accompanists, including Palghat Mani Iyer, Lalgudi Jayaraman, M. S. Gopalakrishnan, T. N. Krishnan, Palani Sebramaniam Pillai and L. Sebramaniam. Memorial music festivals have been held in his honor annually since his death in 1974, the most important being the annually celebrated Kembai Sanjithalsavam. Topic. Early life The family's connection with classical music spans five centuries. Vaidyanatha Bhagavatar's father, Anantha Bhagavatar, was a violinist and singer from Kembai, near Palakkad, to whom a local Maharaja awarded the title, Gana Chakratanam, indicating his mastery of a special closed mouth style of singing tanam. At age three, Kembai began to learn Carnatic music from his father in the customary Guru Sishya tradition, and also began violin and flute training in 1912. Sembai is also one of twelve names of Sirkazi, the birthplace of Saint Nana Sambandar 7th century, C. E. and T. N. <laughs> Singing career Some of the noteworthy early events that helped shape Kembai's career include his Arangatram debut concert in Odapalam in 1904, performances at Vaikom and Guruvayar in 1907, his year with Kaliyakudi Natesa Sastri and the accolades he received from Palghat Anantharama Bhagavatar 1911. Between 1913 and 1927, he performed at many different music festivals and sabhas, notably including the Madras Music Academy and the often forgotten Jagannatha Bhakta Sabha. <laughs> <laughs> Release of recordings Kembai has many phonograph recordings to his credit, recorded from 1932 to 1946. Those were the days before the advent of the concert microphone, and a singer was entirely dependent on the timbre and reach of his voice for a successful concert. Kembai was blessed with a voice of great depth. Further, the perception that Kembai's repertoire of songs was limited is highly incorrect, since the number of different compositions he recorded is in the hundreds let alone the total number he performed in concerts and on radio during his career. <laughs> Lalita de Sar Critis Kembai's old friend, T. G. Krishna Iyer, from Tripunithura, had settled in Madras now Chennai, and offered a house to Kembai on Palace Road near Santhome. 
He had composed some 155 kritis in Malayalam, Tamil and Sanskrit under the mudra Lalita Dasar and requested Kembai to popularize them. Kembai set the kritis to classical music and got them published under the name Lalita Dasar Kirthanagal. He made it a practice to sing these kritis in most of his concerts. He also released a record containing selected kritis from Lalita Dasar's kritis like Evariki Telusanama Danyasi, Enel Kaninda Shankara Baranam, Pavana Guru Hamsanandi, Varijadala Lakhani Arabi, among others. Topic: <laughs> Performing ability and style. Kembai had a vigorous, strong, vibrant, ringing and resonant voice. He would sing in a clear, open-throated style that requires high levels of physical and mental endurance to pull off, yet, he did so in a seemingly effortless manner. He had a wonderful sense of accurate kala pramana time measure. He could do a niraval and swara prastara from any given point, which bespoke of mental alertness in a concert. His empathy for his accompanists and disciples was noteworthy and he would go to great lengths to encourage them. Other stalwarts have admired the strengths in Kembai's singing. For instance, upon witnessing that Kembai was able to sing three concerts in a single day, Sangeetha Kalanidhi G. N. Balasubramaniam is said to have remarked, These are not ordinary men. These are the asuras of the music field. If I sing one concert, I need to rest the whole of next day." Legendary percussionist Pudukatai Dakshinamurthy Pillai would call him, Laya Brahma, for his impeccable grasp of Tala and Laya. Sangeetha Kalanidhi K. V. Narayana Swami has also remarked on Kembai's ability to hold notes aligned perfectly to Sruti for extended intervals of time. Topic. Disciples Kembai had many students, including K. J. Yasudas and many noted musicians like Sangeetha Kalanidhi T. V. Gopalakrishnan, P. Leela, the Jaya Vijaya twins, and others. Topic. Death Kembai died suddenly on 16 October 1974, aged 78, of a cardiac arrest. Shortly before that, he performed his last concert at a Pujakunu Sri Krishna temple in Odapalam, the venue of his first concert, and concluded the concert with his favorite song, Karunai Chivan Endu Thamasam Krishna. Why is there so much delay in conferring your mercy, Krishna? He was talking to his disciple Olapamana Vasudevan Nambutharipad when he suddenly collapsed and died. His nephew said he had always spoken about an easy death, and had attained it. He was cremated in his birth village. The GOVT. Musical College in Palakkad was renamed as Kembai Memorial GOVT Musical College in his memory. Topic. Awards and titles Kembai received several awards and titles during his career, most notably including Gayana Gandhar VA, a title bestowed by Kalki Krishnamurti in 1940, Sangeetha Kalanidhi, 1951, highest accolade in Carnatic music. Sangeet Natak Akademi Award 1958 Sangeetha Kalasahamani 1964 by the Fine Arts Society Chennai Padma Bhushan 1973 The Padma Bhushan is a national award bestowed by the President of India on select musicians and other eminent people Kembai was selected to receive the award in 1973 from the then President V V Jiri the Department of Posts, GOVT of India released a special issue stamp in Kembai's birth centenary year, 1996. Topic: Music Festivals. 
Kembai had been conducting a music festival in his native village from 1924 onwards. This was continued by his family and now by Kembai Srinivasan and Kembai Suresh C. A. Subramanian. The concert, called Kembai Ekadasa Music Festival, is held annually in February to March. Kembai also held a music festival on Guruvayur Ekadasa Day mid-November at Guruvayur every year. This festival, now called Kembai Sanjithalsavam in his honor, is officially conducted by the Guruvayur Devaswam Board. Guruvayurapan Kembai Paraskaram The Sri Gavayarapan Kembai Paraskaram, awarded by Sri Krishna Temple, Guruvayur, is instituted in Kembai's memory of the late Kembai Vaidyanatha Bhagavathar. This award, comprising a cash prize of 50,001 Indian rupees, a gold locket of Sri Guruvayurapan, a citation and panadai, is usually presented during the annual Kembai Music Festival. The recipients of the Kembai Paraskaram include Saxophonist Kadri Gopalnath 2013 Carnatic musician Trichor V Ramachandran Veena Maestro A Ananthapamanabhan 2011 Carnatic musician K G Jayan 2010 Carnatic vocalist Parasala Panamal 2009 Murdangam Maestro Mavalikara Velakutti Nair 2008 Carnatic vocalist M. Balamurali Krishna 2007. Violin maestro M. S. Gopalakrishnan 2006. Carnatic musician and Murdangam maestro T. V. Gopalakrishnan 2005. Topic. See also Carnatic music List of Carnatic singers <laughs>